Hello my hive tribe, it's Queenie Urbane and welcome back to the channel. First I want to say happy new year. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how I do this hairstyle. This is literally my go to you guys, like I promise you. I wear this hairstyle more times than not when I'm feeling lazy and just didn't have a lot of time to really really style my hair but I want to look cute and elegant so if you want to see more stay tuned for the next shot I took out my hair because my towel because I just got out the shower I washed and shampooed my hair my hair is about literally eight weeks post right now so it is like woofing a little bit but we're gonna tame that with this just for me hair lotion but trust me you can use any hair lotion like there is no specific hair lotion you need to use just make sure you are moisturizing your hair always as you can see my kitchen is woofing um, my edges is woofing but it's okay because you know we're gonna style this up real cute and pretty I also have a relaxed hair update coming for you guys so be on the lookout for that so here's my hair right now in its natural state. Um, I do need a deep conditioner, but you know, we're just gonna hold it down for right now, okay? My hair is looking fabulous, and um, I do like that it's growing, so you know, I'm happy about that. So now into the next clip. Um, what I'm gonna do next now is part my hair. I typically do a bang part which I'm showing you guys now but I really wanted to record this in real time so you guys can be able to really watch the amount of time it takes me to do this hairstyle you guys I promise you sometimes I get this hairstyle done in like 15 minutes now if I really really want to bust it out you know and really take my time it could take 25 to 30 minutes but this is a quick hairstyle especially if I don't have to do the wash step but this time I had to wash my hair because I haven't washed it in a few days now I am braiding the bang just to get that out of the way and next I am doing an additional part that goes even further back um, and you're gonna part this like you parted the bang, but this is not gonna be a bang. This is gonna be the swoop, swoop, cute <laughs> curl that you are going to put in the front of the hairstyle. So I am braiding it to also separate it at this moment because we're gonna remove that out the way so we can focus on you know the big boy section in the back so now I moisturize my hair a little more with my um, design essential styling souffle mousse um, I didn't show it in this clip but that's what I'm using because I just love using that to like really tame down my hair and brush down my edges so they can look a lot more smoother And then I brush my hair in like a ponytail like motion because this hairstyle is an updo. Now this is the part that I hope I can explain um, but really there's like so many hairstyles like like this that if I don't explain it correctly like I'm sorry you guys. So what I do is I do I start with a little section in the back and then I twist and as I twist I pull from each side so that it can be flat. Like I literally twist and pull. I grab from each side at a time and twist and pull. Like do you see my hands? I'm literally with one hand holding the twist that I already made and then I'm like brushing my hair up at the same time and then I'm grabbing more hair from one side and another side and twisting again. Like it's not a braid, it's a twist. And I just keep doing that moving upwards. I've been able to do like hairstyles like this to the back of my head. I can even braid up um, on my own head. So I guess it's just a talent I've always had. I've been able to do this since a kid. 
but yeah that's what I pretty much do I just keep twisting up and grab from each side and as you twist up you notice like the French twist is happening right now of course you can do this a lot smoother but I want it to be very realistic like I'm doing my hair so that I can look presentable for work tomorrow and for my nail appointment so <laughs> that is why I am just moving quickly but I really wanted to record so just twist up twist up and if you know if you don't understand what I'm saying of course bobby pin as well but if I'm not explaining correctly like literally just google like how to do a fringe twist and that should cover all the bases but I bobby pin each section as well so that it stays in place Bobby pins will be your best friend in this tutorial. Trust me, guys. And this is also a trust the process hairstyle. Um, I'm able, I've been doing this for a long time, so I can smooth it out and do certain things to get it to look really nice by the finished product, as you guys saw in the first clip. But this is how <laughs> it went at first. So just twist up, twist up. You know, and eventually you should have a big, like, piece of your hair just basically standing up on your head as if you was to brush your hair into a ponytail. That is the ideal look because we're going to curl it over on itself and create that hump look that gives this the beautiful vintage look. Like, you guys know if you are subscribed to this channel, which you should be, you guys, like, subscribe. Um, I love vintage looks. Or, like, I really look up to the glamour dolls of, like, the 2000s and earlier. So, hairstyles like this that you could just, like, go to the beauty shop and, like, get done is something I wish can happen now. But, like, it's just not the trend of today, but it's still my style, so... This look is just one of my favorite things to wear. So as you guys can see, I'm like curling up the remaining hair that was just standing up on itself. There's no ponytails in this at all. There's no scrunchies. I Trust me, I've tried to do this with a scrunchie and it gives it a completely different look that is just not the one I'm going for. So just curl it on itself and bobby pin it. Now at this stage, if you want to, I couldn't really see because um, I was like recording and looking at the mirror and just doing a whole lot at the same time. But you want it to be a smooth hump that curls over it, over it on itself without like any spaces that you can see through. So I'm not going to fix those spaces you can see until the very end of the video because I couldn't see it at that moment. But that's the ideal look. If you do want it to look like a large hump on your head. And I always play around with this. It takes some time. You see, I'm doing this like three, four times. But this is how it goes until I feel like, okay, it looks like decent enough. You know, but like it's curled over on itself right now. And then I grab my curling iron and my flat iron and I put it on, you know, turn on the heat so that I can use it and I am now I've unraveled the second bang like area which is going to be the part we curl I've unraveled that and now I am going to remove a tiny piece of hair from that area. This part is crucial. It really makes a difference to the hairstyle. In my opinion, like this is what makes it my signature. So I curl it with my curling iron, the second bang. And then I literally try not to unravel the curl so that I can swoop it on itself like this. And then I bobby pin it in place and I leave it alone. So now I have this big pin curl essentially 
on the top of my head, which is what really gives it that beautiful glam vintage look. Of course, we have to smooth out the edges because when the edges are not done on this hairstyle, it also makes a difference. And I'm saying all of this because I've worn this hairstyle so many times that I've experimented in many ways. And it's time. there's been times where it was fails and it was times where it was like amazing. And like, I notice when I'm rushing and I don't do my edges, like it just makes a difference and the hairstyle doesn't look as neat. So now I'm just doing the second edge, of course. Gotta get them to match. And while you're watching at this time, you know, I'm gonna smooth that out, but be sure to thumbs up this video, please. I worked really hard to make this. I'm on sabbatical for my channel right now. It's like studying and really learning more about beauty, femininity, and you know, really my purpose and my passion because I have so much content ideas I wanna put out there, but I wanna make sure I'm presenting um, my best work. You know, not perfect work, but my best work. So really studying, knowing, what I'm talking about, understanding my passion and, you know, my root for my channel so that I can do this with passion and not for just necessity, especially since, you know, you guys, I'm monetized. So sometimes I used to post content just so I can like have monetized content and I wanted to step away to really bring back my passion for the channel and things like this which is like just posting about me doing my hair a hairstyle I do all the time brings me so much joy so enough of my chatting now we're going to flat iron the bang I'm showing you guys this is the look we're going for now if you want it to you can smooth down the bang completely and that's equally a very sexy look but I'm not going to do that and sometimes I have done that so I just want to emphasize that where I like you know those girls when they do like a swoop bang at the hair salon and it's like basically almost glued down to their forehead like you can do that with this look but I'm not with this one so I'm curling my bang fabulous and I sprayed my hair with got to be sprayed just so it can like stay standing up I don't know if you guys saw that clip I'm like talking so much and it's voice over <laughs> but yeah like like this honestly this would be a look for me. Like I would kind of go outside just like this. No, I'm not. I'm lying because we forgot the little the little bang piece right there. The little piecey piece. Now this is the part that makes the hairstyle like so fab for me. Like so fab for me. Is we're gonna take this little random strip of hair and curl it. Big curl, tight curl. As tight as we can make it because it makes a difference when it's like a loose curl right so that right there just makes the look look so polished and intentional and like it required all this work when like really this took me like 10-15 minutes now here, you could leave it like this if you wanted to. Like I said, I don't fix that little space piece until a little later in the video because I didn't realize it was there. But honestly, I have walked out the door like this and I get a ton of compliments on this hairstyle, like all the time. Like people, I get stopped on the street from this hairstyle and everything. Wow, you look like, like one of those girls from back in the day. And I'm like, yes, that was the point. But yeah, so right here, I, I could stop, and I would stop, but I won't stop. So, adding this little accessory piece that I'm about to add to my hair is what really, like, brings the look together and make it look makes it look so fabulous. Because, as you can see, it makes, like, the curl that I did on my bang go forward. So then the hairstyle looks even more intentional, right? I love it. I love it. And of course, you can like big up, you know, the hump part as much as you would like or do anything else you think would bring this hair more together. I've added more single individual curls places. I've like literally just had so much fun with this hairstyle so because I've done it so many times. But this is the look, you guys. This is my go-to classy elegant updo. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you the next one.
Bye and happy new year, honey.